In this video, I want to show you how you can create your own migration tracker to validate and make sure your data is complete and migrated properly using Power BI. We're going to walk through it step by step together so you can follow along as well. All of that and more. So without further ado, let's get started. Hi, my name is Fanan and welcome to the Solutions Abroad YouTube channel where we cover tips, tricks and best practices when working with Power BI. I upload new videos every week so make sure you hit that subscribe button and the bell icon to get notified when a new one is out. Switching from one data service provider to another is not an uncommon activity to happen. Sometimes the business needs to upgrade to a newer system or maybe just switching to a different one which gives more support or better service. And when working with large organizations, typically a data migration happens where they need to move the data from the old system into the new system and when it comes to these migrations it can be quite difficult or time-consuming to validate and make sure that the uh, data from the old system has been migrated successfully 100% completely and correctly into the new system and actually I've covered a solution for this in the past where I'm comparing two different files together which could be the files from the original service to the migrated service but I wanted to to revisit it again and kind of revamp it to create some dashboards that could answer a couple of questions such as uh, what are the missing data or what is the percentage of completeness and what is the mismatch. So let's jump right into the demo here. Um, before we go to the Power BI report first, I want to show you the two files that we'll be working with today. So we have uh, two Excel files that we want to compare against each other. And with these two files, there are some slight differences that I've created, but essentially their format, uh, the number of columns that they have are exactly the same. It's just some of them, uh, there is some slight variance. And as a report developer, your job is to compare and contrast to find the difference between these two employee data tables. So this is the original data Excel and this is the migrated data Excel. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to Power BI and let's import these data first. So we're going to go to CSV and let's bring in these two. I'm going to hit transform here to go to Power Query. And now that I've brought that one in, let's also bring in the migrated data. So already just looking at the migrated data from here, I can already see that some data is missing. If you look at the original data, you'll see here on the data validation, everything is sort of 100% there. And you can see it in the colored lines at the bottom. But if we look at the migrated data, you'll see there are some empty values there. So obviously we have some you know, missing data that we want to compare and contrast against. So we're gonna try to do that and make sure that we check on every single column uh, all together. So we're gonna just disable these two because that's not what we're going to use to compare. Uh, what we're going to do now, we're gonna select the ID, which is the unique ID column that we have in this table. We're gonna click and pivot other columns. So what it does is it moves the column names onto the attribute as one column. And this is how we'll match it with the migrated data to compare and contrast the values that are on the individual cells. So essentially we're not looking at one whole row of data at a time. We're looking at every single cell individually to make sure that they match. We're gonna do the same thing for migrated data, ID uh, and pivot other columns. And I'll go back to original data. We're going to reference this. So this is what we'll use as a validator. So this is the uh, validator column. And then what we'll do is we'll merge it with the migrated data. So this is uh, why we unpivoted the data for earlier is so that we can do this comparison. So the merge, we'll merge it using two columns, ID and attributes, because we want to see the values um, of the rows as well as the individual columns in them. And I'll show you what I mean by that in a second. So we're gonna change the join kind to full outer. Now, if you're not familiar with what these join kinds do and how they match the data um, from one to another, there's a separate video that I created. So check it out if you haven't yet. But essentially the full outer, what it makes sure is that if there are any missing data on either of the two tables, we still show the data for those two regardless. And if I hit okay, uh, let's just expand these. Mm -hmm. 
and then we'll just go through just renaming these so that we can um, refer to them later. So just to check really, really quickly, um, we're not going to do it here, but just to show you. So if there are some blank values here, you'll notice. So here you go. So you, you've already got some information about where the mismatches are, but I want to go even one step further to help you just create just a dashboard that is very easy to understand. So we're going to go back and uh, close and load this data. So now let's go to our table here that uh, we've created the validator table and we have the two tables, the original value and the migrated value side by side. And from here, we want to create a comparison to check where the values don't match. And for that, we'll create a new column and we'll use DAX uh, just because it's a lot easier to read. So we'll create a new column here called mismatch and we'll type an if statement. And in this if statement, we wanna say something like, if the value from the original value doesn't exist from the migrated value, then it's a mismatch. Otherwise, it's a match. So that's pretty easy, right? So let's hit enter and see where that is. So here you go. So you've already got the mismatch numbers. Um, if we just check out the matches, this is, these are the um, columns and the cells that match from the migrated to the original value, which is pretty easy. Uh, and now what I want to do is I want to go back to this mismatch here and I want to categorize this even further. So I want to say what kind of mismatch is there? Is there is it the data missing in the migrated uh, table or is there a value, for example, that is not matching? Um, let's say here, for example, the last name for this person is not matching at all. So for this, uh, I want to create a switch statement uh, using in the same column that we've just created. So in here, the true statement, we're gonna create a switch. I'm gonna create true here. So I wanna go through a couple of scenarios here. So first I wanna check if, uh, to make sure that the original value is not blank. So if, if the original value is not blank and, I'm gonna copy that to, and the migrated value is not blank, then this is an actual mismatch. So this makes sure that if there are, um, you know, values on both and they don't match, it should be a mismatch. Otherwise, we need to say if it's missing in migrated or it's missing in original. So we're gonna just create an else statement here just to show you the values for now. Uh, something else. Here we go. So now the mismatch just gives you the values if they don't match between the two. So you see that we have an email here um, and we also have an email for this uh, migrated, but obviously it doesn't match and it's exactly what we wanted. So let's go back to the mismatch and let's add a few more uh, just to get some more categories in our mismatch. So let's say if the original value is there, but it doesn't exist on the migrated. Mm, missing in migrated. So just uh, just copied and pasted it from our original value um, statement here. We're basically just checking to make sure that the original value is not blank and then the value on our migrated is blank, in which case it's missing. So we're gonna do something similar here as well. So if it's blank and the migrated value is there, then it means it's missing in original. I missed the comma there. And if we hit enter, so that's it. So we just hit okay there, clear all filters and there we go. So it tells you uh, some more information about what is missing. So we have a bunch of mismatch values. We can distinguish between them by just checking this um, if statement here to say, okay, we have data 
in a first name for this person but there is no column for that person in the migrated version so if we check that uh, the first name for the id 18 so this person we're looking for and they have some values here now if we look for the migrated data you will see that that person is missing completely so that's why it's not matching right so there's no 18 here but let's give it a try let's start to create this dashboard that i said that we will do so let's uh, create a couple of cards here and let's do account distinct uh, this just counts the number of ids original so we'll keep it super simple for now and we're gonna create another card but this time we want to count the migrated count distinct once more and then we will do number of migrated ids so already you can tell there are a bunch of IDs missing or you know data missing just looking at the rows but uh, that's not enough because we want to make sure that the cells within those rows are also matching that's why we've gone through this length of creating this mismatch category here from here we can also create a donut chart uh, just to show the um, uh, the percentage of our different mismatches so we're gonna add the mismatch value there and we can probably just count it like this and obviously we need to exclude the ones that are matching so we're only counting the mismatches we'll name this one um, what type of mismatches do we have so it's telling us that you know um, 94% of the mismatches are data that is missing in the migrated IDs and then the rest are just data that is um, you know outright not correct or not matching so I'm just gonna format this a little bit let's just add a bit of shadow there let's change the legends to be at the bottom center there we go and we can even add a table just so that we can see the things the actual values in detail so i'm just going to add it here together add a shadow Migrated id column value all right so now we have the data that we want i also want to create something else that could be quite useful which is a match rate percentage to see how accurate our data is regardless of how many mismatches or type of mismatches that we have so i want to show you how to do that really easily so we'll create a new measure for it we'll name this one match rate percentage and for this one we're going to create a couple of variables to help us I'm gonna name this one first total, which is pretty much just counting the rows from our validator table. Create another one for the total for the mismatch. And for this one it's pretty easy. We'll just create a calculate here and we're gonna do count rows for the validator where the mismatch is not equals to match return and then quite simply we'll need to divide the total mismatch to the total to get the percentage but we need to do something like total minus mismatch because we want to get the accuracy not the inaccuracy so we're dividing the um the correct results to the total if we hit enter there we'll convert that into a percentage we'll put the percentage here on a card there you go so you have 94.16 
25% match rate for your data. And that's it. So in the span of minutes, you've created something that you could use to validate your data migration that is reusable and you can use for root cause analysis in terms of what is not matching. So what do I mean by that? So for example, here you can see that we've created a donut chart, which tells us the type of mismatches that we have. And you can use this as a way to cross filter the table that we've added here on the right hand side. So let's say we can see that we have 17 uh, cells that are not matching, it's an actual mismatch. So if you click there, you'll see that the data on the table here on the right hand side also gets filtered. So it's giving you the 17 values that are not matching. And what's great is that it's not just giving you the rows, it's giving you the individual cells that are not matching. So it's telling you the original value and the value on the migrated. So it's telling you that for this ID, this person one, it doesn't exist in the migrated table. And that's really it for this video. I hope I've helped you understand how easy it is to build something like a migration tracker in order to validate the completeness and accuracy of your data migrations. Thanks for watching. As usual, give this video a like if you found it useful. Give it a dislike if you didn't so I know to do better for next time. Ask your questions in the comment section box below so I can help you and you can help others. If you really like this video, we have a Patreon page where you can support the channel and get exclusive perks like early access, demo files, and credits at the end of these videos. Thanks again for watching and see you in the next one. Bye-bye.